Hey friends, Janky here, and welcome to yet another episode of Janky Uncensored. <laughs> Today we are playing that classic tiny build published game, Speedrunners. I would say who it's actually developed by, but I can't remember right now. <laughs> I know that that's terrible, but I just, I can't. What's really nice about these kind of games, and why I pick them for things like janky uncensored is these games don't require a ton of thinking to do but they also require just enough thinking that i have to say whatever's on my mind i get no time to filter my words through my brain hole before they get to my mouth place which means you get me live and uncensored <laughs> perfect right exactly so Let's start off by talking about the last video, specifically the lovely comments that y'all left. Starting off with Kimmy Cat, who said, Aw, love it as usual. I want to visit Ireland and Scotland. Yes, indeed. They are both amazing places, and I agree with your desire to visit them. As you know, well, because I said on last Janky Uncensored, I would also like to see those places, because Scotland and Ireland, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Kimmy Cat, for that lovely comment. I'm glad that you agree. Next up on the jacket, whoop, we have Hennessy. We have Hennessy Rain, who said, "Awesome video. I agree with you about the third parts of the Caribbean." Oh yes, this should be prefaced by saying that we talked about Pirates of the Caribbean on the last Janky Lab or Janky Uncensored. If you didn't already see it. First of all, shame on you for not seeing it, because it was awesome, but that's okay. Anyway, we just talked about the jokes for getting really tired in the third Pirates movie, and then the fourth one was nice because there was a change of pace, but it was really, like, divisive whether people liked it or not. I don't know. Anyway, I saw the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean movie last week. I won't spoil it. You know what? It's janky uncensored. I might as well spoil it, right? Because that's what being uncensored is about. Or does that mean? I don't know. Look, the thing is, it's a good movie. You know? People were unsure about it. I think that it was certainly better plot-wise than the fourth one. I think they left far fewer loose ends. And you know what? It, uh, it all works out. It all works out. And I, th I just think it was good. It had a good story. There were a couple weird plot points and a couple things that they kind of, like... Uh, I don't want to give too much away. They sort of, like, shifted some already established backstory around to make it work with this plot. Which I don't think they actually needed to do, which was the real shame of it. Is that I don't think they needed to do it, but they did. And so you just kind of had to live with it. Which is sad, but oh well. Any hoozle. Um, yeah. So thank you, Hennessy. For commenting. I'm glad that you agreed with my statements about the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And if you haven't seen the fifth one already, I hope that you do, and I hope that you enjoy it. Because I think on the whole, it's pretty enjoyable. I think it's I think it's nice and it's pleasant and it's cool and it's awesome. So thank you. Next up, we have many skills who said Man, I never would have guessed. Your name is Quadruvium. Yes. That is so unique. Sorry for letting the cat out of the bag. It's true. My parents are Greek buffs. No, not Greek. Latin. Latin buffs, because I know what language that's from. And yeah, they just thought it would be an interesting name. It's really a shame. Which is why I just go by Janky Online. Because who wants to be saddled with a name like Quadruvium? Uh, online. Although, to be frank, on YouTube, I think that how it actually be kicking. I'm pretty sure people would be like, ooh, I'm already intrigued by your name. But, uh, no, that, that would be far too long and far too cumbersome to say at the beginning of videos. So, I just went with Janky, because that's, that's what I got to do. You got to do what you got to do, and that's what I got to do. So, thanks, Maze Girls, for throwing in for throwing in your thoughts. Okay, so let's go over into your questions because we have 10 minutes left 
and I have questions to answer because you guys gave me topics. I hound you for them all the time throughout the week, and whenever you guys give them to me, I should answer them because I hound you for them, so I should answer. Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's get into it. First, with Ryder Ripley. Here's a topic. In which movie universe would you prefer to live in? Okay, I actually thought about this a bit because I read the question and I'm like, oh, that's a hard one. I should actually think about that before I just go talking about it. And I think I would just prefer to live in, like, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'd want to live in any of the universes where my favorite movies take place. Because all of my favorite movies, I assume in, in this universe, I would just be, like, a regular person. And it never seems to work out for regular people. Like, the Marvel Universe. Like, if you're just a person on the street in the Marvel Universe, you're basically screwed. So... Like, collapsing buildings, super villains everywhere. Like, I don't think I'd ever want to deal with that as a regular person. And, like, Pirates of the Caribbean, to be just be, like, living in the 1600s with crazy curses and magic, even if I never had to deal with the magic and curses stuff, like, that would still just be terrible. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever want to have to deal with that. So, I don't think I'd want to live in any of those universes you know what universe would actually be really cool to live in i think that sky high would be cool if if i was one of the students in sky high or or if it was like a cartoon universe where nothing goes wrong <laughs> if i could just live in like a, a cartoon universe where you could get as hurt as you want but never actually have to face the consequences of getting hurt, that's the universe I would live in. So hopefully that was an informative answer. Next up, we have... Whoop, ba, 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 ba. Oh, Kimmy Cat, who asks the following. If you could wake up tomorrow and start your dream job, what would that dream job be? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> I guess most people kind of have some idea of what they want to do. I I never had, like, a clear picture of where I wanted to be. Like, I'm, I'm just the kind of person, I have, like, a lot of places I want to see and go, and a lot of things I want to do, but I never really thought about, like, career-wise what I'd like to do. I mostly think about, like, all the cool things I want to do and not, like, how I would pay my way to get there, I guess. <laughs> But I can tell you one of the things that I'd really love doing is I would love to um, work as a community manager, either on Twitch or Mixer or for a game company or something like that. I would just love a job where I can help people solve their problems, you know, just like be the cool voice that's just like, yo, tell me what's going wrong and I will try to help you fix it. And just to like interact with people in that way. And I think that if I had a position like that, I could still do my YouTube and gaming because I, I feel like that's almost a part of it, right? If you want to be a good community manager, you have to be in, you have to be a part of the community that you're helping to manage. So for example, if I got a job as like a Twitch community manager, of course I would be streaming games. Um, and I would probably even have like, office hours like obviously i would have actual office hours at the twitch office but in addition to that i would totally figure out like yo if you want to hit me up out of office you could just come to my stream at such a t such a time and we could play like maybe a multiplayer game together or something like that i think that would be a really fun work environment to be in so that's that's what i would do i think if i had the choice would be some kind of community manager where i could actually like just be around gamers and YouTubers and just be a part of that community. Like, be more fully integrated into that community and really feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing something cool and awesome and important. Yeah? Yeah. So that's what I, that's what my dream job would be. So hopefully that answers your question. Who is up next? Next up, we have Hennessy. Hennessy Rain, who asks, where do you see yourself in five years? Ideally, managing a community. <laughs> Either as like a partner manager at one of the streaming sites, 
or uh, working with a games company. There are a couple of there are a couple of companies I would just absolutely love working for. Um, I would love working for BungieNet, who makes uh, Destiny, and they also make the Halo series, and sometimes they do Call of Duty. They they um, they're they're a Microsoft company. But I would absolutely love to be a part of their Destiny team. And there are some indie studios, too, that I would just love working for. Runic Games. If I ever got the chance to work for Runic Games, I would absolutely adore that. They're based in Seattle, and they're just such a cool group of people. I would I would love to work for them. So, In the long run, though, I think I would certainly like to see myself on a different coast. <laughs> so I'm East Coast right now. I would absolutely love to move out west, whether to Seattle or Portland, maybe Los Angeles. I don't know. I mean, obviously you would meet a lot of really cool people living out in Los Angeles. I just don't know if I could deal with everything about living in that city. Like, just everything that's going on. Am I alive? No, I died. There's just always, I don't know, everything's expensive there and... It, like, there's always cool things to do, but I don't know. Plus, I would always really like to be friends with YouTubers that I like, but obviously you don't become friends with a person based solely on the fact that you watch their content. That might be a start, but I mean, you actually have to have things in common to become friends with people. Which, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just have this dream that... I bet I could be really cool friends with some YouTubers that I watch because I bet we would get along famously, but that is what it is. Anyway, that was a long rambling response. Hopefully that answers your question. And then let's... Aha! We come back around to the final question, which is again from Kimmy Cat, who asks, what are your top three pet peeves? Okay. I don't know... If I can say top three pet peeves, actually, you know what? I just realized something. What am I doing? If this is the last, if this is the last run, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. I apologize, everyone. I apologize for what's happening right now. What I was going to say was if this is the last run, there's something I have to do. I have to play as the correct character. So I will set the difficulty on medium. We'll do versus bots. And I shall pick one of my personal favorite YouTubers, since we're talking about it, Jesse Cox. Actually, Strippin is absolutely hilarious in this game too. So is Dodger. And Cinnamon Toast can. But no, I shall be Jesse. All right, so let's wrap this thing up. Top three pet peeves. All right, well, I don't know if I can name a top three, but I can certainly tell you one of the most offending things that I've ever run into, which is people who are like assholes, but they think, like, it's like they don't see it. They think that they're being like, okay. Like people who are so absolutely bigoted and just so against everything that you're just like how like it's it, it's like it's like they stepped out of a different time period where everyone hated everybody for ridiculous reasons and it, it they they think it's still okay and oh my god i just uh the, the here's the best example i can give you professor umbridge like dolores umbridge from the fifth harry potter book or the Harry Potter series in general, because every time she comes up. Like, I have met people in life who maybe aren't quite as bad as Umbridge, but can come in, like, a close second. And I just want to punch them in the face. Everything about them just, like, annoys and offends me. And they are my biggest pet peeve. Like, they will set me off to no end. Just, oh my god, I cannot stand it. And that is my biggest pet peeve. Are those are just those people? And you don't run into them often, but whenever you do, you're just like, how do you exist in today's world? Like, what, what is going on 
that you are still like this. I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't even know. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. But that's a huge pet peeve. Also, people who ride me on the highway. It's super annoying. Don't get close to me unless you're prepared to go the same speed I am. And then they get like this angry look on their faces, like I'm somehow inconveniencing them, even though I'm driving like five miles an hour over the speed limit. And they're like, you should drive faster. Maybe you should go around. There are five clear lanes around me that you could totally be using right now if you would just like go around. But no, do they? No, they don't go around. They just think it's okay to, I don't know. It's just, it's just annoying. That's all. And I hate it. And oh my God, I just can't stand it. I don't even know what a third pet peeve is. I don't even know if I have a third pet peeve, but those are the two big ones that I just, ugh, oh my god, I can't even stand. And that's all I have. <laughs> so, I hope this has been informative for you all. I hope you guys enjoyed yet another janky uncensored. Of course, feel free to leave likes and comments down below. If you have ideas for new comment or uh, new topics for the next Janky Uncensored, I highly encourage you to leave those below. Always looking for new topics to talk about. Anything under the sun, no matter how ridiculous it is, I will give you my opinion on it because that's what this is all about. This is all about me giving serious and ridiculous opinions on problems facing society today or problems that aren't really facing society today, or hypothetical problems that are facing Klingons in galaxies far, far away. I don't know. I think I mixed genres there, but that's, or franchises, but that's, that's fine, right? We can mix franchises every once in a while. Anyway, that's, that's all I have to say. So, until the next time, this is Janky Shaggins, signing out. You can't stop the space butterfly. No, you can't. Space butterfly for the wind. Space butterfly. Space butterfly. Space butterfly. <laughs>